Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, uh, General Votel, for being here. I appreciated the chance to meet with you last week. As you know, I have serious <clears throat> concerns about our support to the Saudi-led coalition and its military campaign in Yemen. And at a hearing like this last year, I asked you if the U.S. government knew where the coalition jets went and what targets they bombed after receiving fuel from U.S. tankers. And you said that CENTCOM does not track that information. In late December, the New York Times reported that American military personnel assigned to the coalition's headquarters in Saudi Arabia readily had access to a, quote, database that detailed every airstrike, warplane, target, munitions used, and a brief description of the attack, end quote. So let me just ask you, does this database exist? Uh, today, we do have a, we do have a database that, uh, that does have that information, and we have the ability to see that. And CENTCOM has access to this database? We, we do have access to it today. Okay. You know, this is troubling information because it suggests that we could determine retroactively if coalition warplanes that bombed civilians did so with American assistance. You know, there's clear evidence that we enable and support the Saudi-led coalition in Yemen. Until recently, we refueled their jets. We provide military advice and intelligence support. We continue to sell them American-made bombs, bombs that public reports indicate kill Yemeni civilians. We provide their Air Force with sustainment and logistics support for their American-made fighters. So I'm asking you questions. I want to ask some questions about the details of the help we give the Saudis because they continue to conduct bombing runs. They continue to perpetuate one of the worst man-made humanitarian disasters in the modern era. During this civil war, more than 85,000 children under the age of five have starved to death and tens of thousands of civilians have been killed. This military engagement is not authorized. We need to end U.S. support for this war now. So let me ask you about detainee abuse. In Section 1274 of the FY19 NDAA required the Secretary of Defense to review whether members of the armed forces or coalition partners of the U.S abused or witnessed abuse of detainees during operations in Yemen. DOD submitted this report to Congress last month and in the unclassified summary concluded that, quote, DOD has determined that DOD personnel have neither observed nor been complicit in any cruel, inhuman, or degrading treatment of detainees in Yemen. End quote. Can you just say a brief word, I just have a little bit of time, about how DOD reached this conclusion? Uh, we principally de derive that based on the discussions and the reports from the people that we do have on the ground and what they have seen. We obviously take this very seriously, uh, Senator, and, and our individuals that are in, po in, in positions where they might see some of this are under the obligation to report this. Uh, and I, I, I do routinely uh, receive reports, many of them unsubstantiated, uh, and not just linked to, uh, to Yemen, but to other areas in which we operate where there have been our people have received a report of abuse, and we have a reporting mechanism for that. And so we do take that okay. extraordinarily seriously. But this report says uh, neither observed nor been complicit in any cruel, inhuman, or degrading treatment. The Associated Press, Human Rights Watch, Amnesty International, and the United Nations all conducted their own investigations and came to a very different conclusion. They determined that our Emirati partners oversaw a network of detention centers that regularly engaged in torture and other abuse. Now, does DOD find these independent investigations credible? Well, we certainly take all of these uh, independent investigations uh, seriously, uh, Senator. But, but I think what, 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 what I'm saying to you is that we have no observations of our own from our people that have actually seen this. Fair enough. Then let me ask it this way. Has DOD reached any conclusions about whether or not our Emirati partners are engaging in detainee abuse when DOD personnel are not present? 
I, 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 I have not reached any kind of conclusion that they are uh, conducting these activities. Uh, certainly in my interaction with all of our partners uh, in this conflict and across the region, uh, we continue to emphasize the obligations under the law of armed conflict uh, and the proper detention and treatment of detainees across the board. Well, I appreciate your walking me through your assessment of these independent reports, but I remain very concerned about abuses in the region. Turning a blind eye is not acceptable, and I'm going to keep asking questions. Senator, I'm, I'm a receipt of your, of your letter, and, and we will provide Thank a you. response to you. Thank you.